you know, just as an aside, it's been a really good ski season so far <laughs> as of this recording, um, which is the weekend before it actually posts on Monday morning. Uh, I've had nine great days of skiing. Well, actually, there's a few that were um, weather-wise not that great, but the snow was really great. Yesterday, which would have been Saturday as of the date of this recording up at Hoodoo Ski Bowl, uh, about five feet of snow and tens of thousands of people. So everyone is discovering this little ski resort that I've been skiing at for five decades, uh, which is good, I guess. Hey, it's Tim Patterson. This is Trade Show Guy Monday Morning Coffee for January 11th, 2021. We have inched our way into the new year, and I'm so glad you're able to to hang out with me for a few minutes. Um, the uh, sh- uh, website you can find us at is tradeshowguy.net. Yes, we have other ones. We have Trade Show Guy blog.com there's also uh trade show guy webinars.com the books trade show success book and trade show superheroes and there's a few more in there but you can find them all by just going to trade show guy.net so i got to thinking i had a guest schedule but it didn't work out so we had to postpone hopefully next week and i got to thinking well what can i do and i was uh mulling this over and i realized that i have a, a library full of books I do. I, I like books. I, I've written a couple of books. I'm writing more books. <laughs> and, uh, uh, but I have a lot of books. I read a lot of books. And I thought, well, I bet I could narrow down to, you know, five or six really good business, quote unquote, books that I have enjoyed and gotten a lot out of over the year. There's a lot that you buy and you get like a third of the way through and you go, I can't finish this. It's not that good. And uh, but but some you finish and you, you think these had an impact on me. So I'm just going to give you my top five and then a bonus. Um, in no particular order. Uh, number one, this is, or maybe number five, this is uh, marketing by Seth Godin. You can't be seen until you learn to see. Uh, people like us do things like this. This book came out a couple of years ago, and it's really his marketing seminar in a book, how to see your market, how to tell the story of your company and product, how to find the smallest viable audience for whatever it is you do. It talks about permission and trust, and there's a a uh, chapter or two of, of case studies in the end, which kind of help illustrate a lot of that. So uh, this is marketing, Seth Godin, highly recommended. Another one that's been around for quite some time. I was surprised it was uh, the copyright, and this is 2001, but I had a feeling it was longer. But David Allen's Getting Things Done, uh, kind of a the iconic getting things done type of book with the, the correct title, of course, Getting Things Done. National bestseller author of Ready for Anything, known as the Personal Productivity Guru. It's worth it. It's a good one. Organization, practice, managing workflow, uh, your time and space and tools, making the best action choices. Next one, uh, the third on the list is uh, Guerrilla Trade Show Selling New Unconventional Weapons and Tactics to Meet More People, Get More Leads and Close More Sales. It's the title of the year, I guess. Uh, J. Conrad Levinson, Mark S.A. Smith, and Orville Ray Wilson. Years ago in my er- earlier podcast, I think I had an Orville on a podcast, and this is going back a long ways. This actually published in uh, 1997. Uh, it's got a lot of great things, and it's still effective, though, because I think in some sense the trade show world hasn't changed a whole lot in the last several decades. Yeah, social media has come along, but the nuts and bolts of Trade show marketing uh, haven't really changed. You know, you got budgets to worry about. You got to move people in and out. You got to get people to come to your booth. You got to sell things. Um, this is like why to exhibit, why not to exhibit, working with teams, why are visitors at shows, uh, market research, crafting a strategy, knowing the things uh, that things can and probably will go wrong. So having a plan B is important. How to save money on your, your exhibit. It just is a very uh, extensive and thorough book. I had to put this one on the list, uh, New Rules of Marketing and PR by David Meerman Scott. I've had David on uh, this podcast a, a couple of times at least, um, and he's got a new book out uh, as of last year, which is great. But this is kind of the original that, you know, laid his uh, line in the sand, as it were, how to use news releases, blogs, podcasting, viral marketing, and online media to reach buyers directly. It goes back to this original version, I believe. I think this is the original. Uh, 2007. Yes, it's been around a while. He's updated it a couple of times, uh, but a very, very strong book. And, you know, blogs, podcasting, news releases, viral marketing, and online media to basically cut out the middleman and reach your market directly. Uh, It's become very popular. And I think it's 
Right to say that uh, many things David talked about in this book have definitely come to pass. Many are still in use. It is still a good resource. Look for the uh, most recent version. I'm sure you can find it. Uh, The next one, number five or number one, however you want to count these down, (laughs) is Peter Shankman's, I believe this is the first book called Can We Do That? uh, Published in 2007. I think I've read this twice. It's It's a really good book. It's a fun book to read. It's just full of so many ideas. Uh, Peter is a very creative guy. Uh, It's called Can We Do That? Outrageous PR stunts that work and why your company needs them. I mean, it'll get your brain going. It'll really get your brain going as to, wow, we could kind of do this and do a twist on that. But uh, I think it's it's worth picking up and reading a time or two. I got to read the back of the book. It's kind of funny because so much has changed for Peter. Uh, Peter Shankman is the CEO of the Geek, Geek Factory, a marketing and PR strategy firm whose clients have included Snapple, Uh, Napster and the Discovery Channel, also CEO of Air Productions, the Internet's first in-flight dating and networking service. See, did you know that about him? He lives in New York and frequently speaks at trade shows and conferences on PR, marketing, and creativity. And uh, had him on the show uh, last month, I think, uh, in December. And he's always worth uh, reading. But this is, I think, his best book. Although his other books are good, too. But uh, Can We Do That was just kind of... (laughs) A cool book to read. Okay, so I did have one bonus, and it's not really a a business book, but it's more of a creative thinking book. It's called Thinker Toys, second edition. This has been around a long, long time. Uh, There's two copyrights in there. Michael Michalko, uh, 1991 and 2006, everything in there to get you to think creatively. Uh, Idea grids, linear thinking, intuitive thinking. Uh, So much involved in this book. I've seen a number of versions of it in various forms. Uh, if you'd like to spur your creative thinking, uh, Thinker Toys is one way you can do that. So let's wrap up this week's show. Pick up any of those books. I'll have links in the show notes. Uh, this week's one good thing. I, <laughs> I picked up these DAK DAC Bluetooth earphones, you know, three or four weeks ago. They're like 50 bucks. <laughs> and uh, I really, really like them. I was looking at getting, you know, some of the expensive stuff, the AirPods and a few others. Uh, But I came across these and I'll try them out. My only kind of knock on them is that the sound isn't quite as good as I would like it to be. But everything else works great about it. Works great if you're on phone calls, uh, riding your bike. I use them skiing all the time. I didn't want to use AirPods skiing because I figured if you fall out, if you fall and one falls out, how do you find a white AirPod in white snow? But these, you know, you kind of wrap them around your neck on the back and and you plug them in. They're good. I'll put a link in these uh, for this into the uh, show notes as well. But they're some Bluetooth um, uh, uh, ear pods, ear uh, headphones. Uh, There you go, headphones uh, from DAC, D-A-K. That's the show this week. Have yourself a great week and uh, let's do it again next time as we move further and further into 2021. Take care. Mm -hmm.